And welcome back to the first episode of Pokemon Unbound. I am Master Fish Plus, your resident Poke Master, and we're here to try another fan game, another special hack of Fire Red. A really great base for Pokemon hacks, if I do say so myself. Some of the stuff they're doing with these games these days is pretty darn sweet. If you're new to this channel, I am Master Fish Plus. I pride myself on my Pokemon skills, despite a couple recent losses. <laughs> I like playing games that are a little harder than the normal Pokemon. I grew up with Pokemon. I thought, hey, this is a good challenge for somebody who's a kid like me. But once I became older, I said, I want to really strategize because what you can do with these games goes really deep. So I started this channel. I am a I'm a rather fra family friendly channel. I, I don't I don't like to curse. I don't like to be obscene. So you can play this on full volume and not have to worry about a thing. It'll be great. Like I said, we do challenge challenge hacks or challenge versions of Pokemon games. And in this one, we are going to be doing a Nuzlocke challenge, which means we can only catch one Mon per route. If a Mon faints, it's gone forever. We have to nickname every Mon we get. We can't breed or, or do anything like that to get extra Mons. However, if we are gifted Mons or gifted eggs, we do get to keep them. And anything... Oh, wait, no, it's not randomized. This isn't randomized, so none of that. None of it. We can get as many statics as we want, though. Unless it's like Mahogany Town, where there's six or three Electrode. Can't do that. Can't just get three of them. All right. I'm hoping that this is something we can complete. Although I think that we're going to try to complete this game no matter what happens. I know there are multiple modes for difficulty, and we're going to be playing on a mode called Difficult. I think it's going to be right where it needs to be so that I can blind Nuzlocke this game. And yes, this is a blind Nuzlocke. All right, you know what? Enough talking. Let's get into it. I guess this game's about Hoopa. Would you like to skip certain cutscenes during gameplay? No. This option may be changed any time. Okay. Long ago. Let's get right into it, I guess. The Boreas region was engulfed by a great war with the Kalos region. It was a brutal war, one which lasted many years. During that time, Kalos managed to seize the upper hand. Whoa! On the brink of defeat, the Borean king summoned a dark force to help the turn the tides of battle. That's Hoopa Unbound. The Colosian army's advantage was lost almost instantly. Yeah, okay. Well, you got a genie on your team. As soon as it entered the battlefield, the dark force used its power to create portals and transport the invading army back to Kalos. Bye! With the foreign army gone, the war seemed at an end for Boreas. However, their king, overcome by his lust for power, sent the Borean army through the portals as well. Uh-oh. The war continued to rage in Kalos for several years. That is a shiny Floet? Many more men in Pokémon were conscripted to fight and inevitably met their end on the battlefield. One such Pokémon having been a dear friend of the Colosian king. Overcome with grief, the king built a device to restore its life, granting himself immortality in the process. But this traumatic event left him scarred and filled with anger. Unable to forgive the world that had hurt his precious Pokémon, he turned his machine into a giant weapon. The ultimate weapon. The king became a bringer of destruction that ended the war. No! No! With the war over, what little remained of the Borean army returned home. The king's Pokémon left him, and the battlefield became silent. Yet peace was still to come. Enraged over the fruitless war fought, survivors of the war wished for ample compensation from the Borean king. When he had nothing to offer them, they began to manipulate the Dark Forest to attack the Borean kingdom in an attempted coup. Uh-oh. In an effort to stop the madness, the Borean King gathered the legendary Pokémon. Articuno! Instinct! And Moltres! 
Using the power of the three birds combined with the plates of Arceus, the Pokemon that shaped the universe, a prison was created for the Dark Force sealing its power. It became a shadow of its former self. Stripped of its power, it was taken in by the king and supervised by his progeny until one fateful day. Sixteen years ago. Whoa. Don't jump. Arceus, I fear my time's almost up. This Pokemon, if this next experiment goes south, it will fall right into his hands. I told him using its power is dangerous, but without my guidance, I worry that he'll settle on it as an alternative method for achieving his goal. And that's why I need to do this. Oh, it's gone. Now it's time for you to go to... <laughs> jump, Arceus! Jump! There's no point in you sticking around any longer. Get lost! Get out of here, God! We don't want you here! Just promise me one thing. Please watch over my chilled. Oh, he flew away. Hmm. Elsewhere. Oh, it's White Hood. Arg. How can I fulfill Grampy's wish if I can't even catch a single Pokemon? I promised him I'd finish it, but at this point, I don't see how that will even be possible. Please, Arceus, if you're real, give me a sign that everything will work out. Ooh, I got a bad feeling already. A Pokeball, here, now... Arceus is real after all. This Pokemon. Hoopa. It appears, Grampy, that there may be a way after all. It's time for the eternal flower to bloom once more. Uh. Hoopa, don't let him catch you. Run, Hoopa. Run. Get out of there. Oh, well, now you guys need to run. All right. Well, we're already into the story. Jeez. Welcome to Pokemon Unbound. Before you begin playing, please be aware that this is a non-profit fan game. If you've paid any money for this game, reclaim your money immediately. Dude, I played a, I paid a thousand for that. I paid. Anyway. Additionally, if you are using one of the Eclipse, Delta, or No Cash GBA emulators to play this game, change your emulator immediately. If you are playing on Flashcart, be aware constantly fixing the time drift may cause issues during play. Not doing any of those. In the world which you are about to enter, you will embark on a grand adventure with you as the hero. The world's a big place. Take your time exploring. There is no rush. If you get smacked by a gym leader, it's your fault. Speak to people and check things wherever you go, be it towns, roads, or caves. The world and its people are alive. As you grow, they will grow along with you. So keep this in mind. Your actions can affect and change the world around you. Not every decision you can make will result in the same outcome. Ooh, branching storylines. With that in mind, you are almost ready to enter the Boreas region. But first, I have to be somebody, don't I? Am I girl or boy? Where's man? Where's my champ? I want to be my champ. All right, guess I don't get to be my champ. Oh, I missed it. Oh, I missed it. Oh, okay. All right, here we go. Um, I can, I can. This is the only one with black hair, huh? All right, choose your hair color. Oh, I can be any color I want, huh? Well, we can just go simple. Where's, where's orange? I need orange or purple. There we go. Uh, is this what you look like? If I were a pixel man? Probably. I don't know, that's not my kind of hair, but whatever. Last but not least, what's your name? Ah, uh, I've been waiting for this. Are you kidding me? I can't be, I can't be Master Fish Plus. They never let me be Master Fish Plus. You never, they never let me. I'm M. I'm gonna just be M. Ha, joke's on you, mom and dad. I'm M now. All right. Here we go. Your name is MFP. Master Fish Plus. Yes, sir. Yes, it is, baby. Choose your preferred game difficulty. This setting impacts difficulty of Pokemon battles. A higher difficulty means smarter trainers and smarter wild Pokemon. Vanilla. Vanilla is probably just a normal Pokemon game. We're playing on difficult. 
I know expert and insane are going to require EV training and all things are things have really competitive move sets. This is a blind run. What I've learned about blind running challenge hacks is that if I don't know what's coming, I have a lot. I can't counter it. Pro- I, if I don't know what's coming. I can't counter it properly. And we have a much higher chance of losing. I'm playing this game to discover what it is first. I don't have any idea what's coming. This isn't even like Radical Red, where I know the water gym leader probably has a Starmie, which I should have freaking known, or Brock has a Brock has an Onyx. I don't know anything. I don't know their tendencies. I don't know what I'm getting. I don't know anything. Um, I guarantee if we lose this difficult, if we lose on Expert, if I go fight them again, I'll win without losing any mods. So that's not the deal. We're going to do difficult so that we can play through this game and hopefully beat it. This is my reasoning. I don't want to have a million series on the channel where I blind nuzlocke a game and I failed because obviously I didn't know the gym leader was carrying freaking Dragonite at level 40. Yeah, that, I'm still bitter about that. And <laughs> anyway, I'm hoping you guys will understand and not hold it against me that I'm not starting with insane. If we play insane, we won't win. Simply won't win. It's not going to happen unless I know what I'm fighting. So we're doing difficult. Maybe change to easier setting at any point using the options menu. Hey, uh, we can't choose a harder difficulty until the game's completed. However, vanilla and difficult will always be available. Okay. Um, I would love to play the darker version, but this is, like I said, family-friendly stuff. We're not playing dark version because there might be cursing or blood or something like that. And, you know, I don't need to be showing that to everyone. This option may not be changed during gameplay. I personally have a problem with it, but I just want to, I don't want to get YouTube angry at me. <laughs> the overlord YouTube. Uh-oh. Come on, Hoopa. I don't want to be... <sighs> don't choose me, dude. That's a rude awakening right there. Ooh, hold on, hold on. Oh, this is... These are some tunes, dude. Oh, I love it. What the? Two in one day. Quick, scientist. What are you standing around for? Grab him! Knock him out and lock him up in the warehouse with the others. Zeph is going to freak out when he hears about this. What an edgy guy. Am I done? Can I move? Hoopa, why would you do this to me? I just want to get up and go to school. He's unconscious, Hoopa. Oh, another, another Edgeman. Stop! I tell you about traveling through my cube space. Just because you can't travel through your rings anymore, that does not give you the right to use my cube without permission. And were you the one responsible for bringing these two here? I don't know what you wanted with them, but you've been a nuisance ever since I found you on that beach 16 years ago. I may not be your true guardian, but I'm your trainer now. And you will obey me. These two won't rescue you from me. What a pain. Uh-huh. Well, I could have told you Hoopa is a trickster. Ooh, I'm automatically running. All right, let's see what we got here. We got cube. All right, well, I guess I'll shut cube. I guess that's my inventory. Master Fish Plus. What do I look like? I look like Pokemon Ranger. All right, well, that's cool. That's cool. Got eight badges. Um, guess I'll save the game. Last save was never. <laughs> see you never, loser. Do we have speed up? Oh, we do have we do have normal fire red speed up. So these are normal fire red controls. Okay, all right, then we're good. Auto run auto being on is a great choice. This is gonna be a I, I guess this is gonna be a choose your starter episode, but there are many Pokemon locked away in the cage. Okay, we're getting a Pokemon in here, aren't we? Hope we get something good. Key card with clearance level two. We don't have that. Ooh, our PC potion. Hope we get to go home someday. Being um. Uh, kidnapped isn't really how I want to... I don't want to talk to you yet. I don't trust you, dude. You're wearing all black. You might hit me. I don't want to get hit. I don't have a Pokemon. Oh, another potion. Can we leave? Can we step outside? No? All right. That's just a light. All right. Who are you, red hair? You're a rival. He's unconscious. Better leave him alone for now. <laughs> all right. Okay, for sure, for sure, bro. Ooh, sweet. Box items. Awesome. 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 What else can we get? I love this. I love box items. Games reward you for exploring. I'm all about that. I already looked at you guys. 
Okay, I think that's it. I mean, we can check these boxes. Nothing. All right. Where do you think you're going, kid? I'm under strict orders to keep you locked up. Mwah! All right. Well, guess we'll go talk to Unconscious Man again. There's something written on his shirt. It's his name. It's... Oh, you know what time it is. If we get to name someone, we're naming him Goblin. This is our rival, dude. He looks just like Goblin. Goblin has red hair. Is his name Goblin? Yeah. Huh. What's going on? Where am I? What's going on? What's going on? Oh, wait. You're that kid from down the road. Master Fish Plus, right? Do you even know what we're doing here? What? You don't know? So you must be in the same situation as I. You see any sort of exit? There is one, but it's blocked by a man dressed in black. Take me there. I'm going to try to break through. Oh, sweet. You're just with us now. What do you got to say for yourself? All right. I'm going to make him wish he wasn't there. I like you, Goblin. You have confidence, unlike the real Goblin. Hey, who do you think you are? You think you can get away with keeping us locked up in here? You better let us through right now or you're going to suffer. Make him suffer, Goblin. Back off, kid. I'm under strict orders to keep you locked up. So scram unless you want to suffer. <laughs> nice one, dude. <laughs> Smart choice. Keep far away from this door and you won't regret it. Doesn't look like he's going to move, Master Fish Plus. We're going to look for another way out of here. Yeah, he also sucks at comebacks. Let's go to the Pokemon cage. I didn't. I missed the cry. It sounded like a Beldum? Did you hear that, MFP? It sounded like a Pokemon are trapped in that cage over there. Let's go check it out. All right, I'm pretty sure this is where we're going to choose our starter. I have no idea what the starters are, so this may as well be randomized. Sure hope we can get a Charmander. Although I have a feeling we aren't. The lock appears fragile, break it. It's my default voice now. All right. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> We're going to have a good time. Looks like these Pokemon are grateful and want to join us. If we each take one and put them in these Pokeballs I picked up, we can use them to attack the guard and escape. That boy has an inke. So what are you waiting for? Go ahead and choose a mon. Well, guys, that will be uh, where today's episode ends. I want your votes in the comments. We have three unbelievably powerful mons. We have the dragon Pokemon Gibble. This is called, um, in, in certain circles, this is called Dragon Rage. This is called Early Game Dragon Rage. And then... A jet fighter. We have titanium over here. I don't know if he's going to get anything other than takedown for 20 levels. This might be the hard mode option, but later on, you have Metagross. Last but not least, Larvitar. Pocket Sandstorm. Gets Rock Slide fast. And then it becomes Tyranitar, which can't be injured by anything. And over here we have Goblin. Yeah, forget him. Anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it up to you. Uh, you can't choose wrong. You guys literally could not choose the wrong one. Any vote is the right vote. It's the, only, it's the only time in your entire lives where you made the right choice, no matter what choice you make. <laughs> I can't even pick a favorite out of these, man. If you enjoyed today's episode, please like, comment, subscribe, and ring that bell for notifications. It really helps out the channel. I hope to see you on Thursday for kind of the first real episode of this Nuzlocke, where we just smash a grunt with one of these unbelievably already going to be broken mons. For now, my friends, farewell. <laughs>